Would it be possible for me to just ask a question? I'm reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever, please. I'm Robert. Is it possible to help? I could go to a breakout room if that's if you want to do that. I've just got something I don't understand. Is it possible to help, please? I don't know how to help you. Well, I haven't asked my question yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's let's have one of the brothers that do the sound system see if they can do that. Is there someone there for um, the Kingdom Hall or stage or the back room? They're they're working on doing a breakout room with them, Jane. Yeah. Me, so oh, all right. Oh, thank you, thank you so if, much. If you can, yeah. We just had to contact them so they could do a breakout room with you. Oh, thank you so much. Is this Livingston yeah. Congregation or is this Livingston Kingdom Hall or is it both? It's both. It's both. It's right. the congregation, and we're we're just on Zoom today. Some are at the Kingdom Hall. Yes. Mm. And so where are you at? Um, do I have to give my home location? Oh, no, no. Oh, great. I'm just curious. We're oh, social. great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. We're just in Livingston, Montana. Yes. So the weather's pretty nice here today, kind of windy. So we've got some wind out here even today, mm -hmm. and that's a little more unusual for us. So. Mm -hmm. How's Basil and Dolly doing? Doing all right today, Bonnie. Just trying to finish getting ready, so I'm ready when the meeting starts. Ah. So did you contact somebody at the hall for Robert? Um, I was given the Zoom address. I was told people would be able to help. So I, I came to this meeting hoping someone would be able to help. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Janie, I just talked to the brother at the hall, and they're working on getting a breakout room so, ready. All right, sounds good. Yeah. <coughs> well, we're, we're glad to have you, Robert. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. oh, year, and um, year, year and a half, she says. Yeah. I do it's, have. It's, I do have to go quite soon. I can't stay too long. Do you mind if I just ask a question? Possibly somebody could help me. There's quite a few in the room. Is that possible, please? Well, give us a question. Yeah, um, yes, in Matthew twenty four thirty four, I don't understand how the generation can be an overlapping generation. It says, Assuredly, I say to you, this generation, that's singular, will by no means pass away till all these things are fulfilled. Now, I've been told that this is an overlapping generation. Where is the principle of an overlapping generation in, in the Bible, please? Matthew twenty-four thirty-four. 34. Uh, Robert? Yes. Um, we're... We're, we've got about 15 minutes before the meeting starts, and we haven't been doing any breakout rooms uh, after the meeting. Uh, it seems like everyone visits before, but um, there's a watchtower um, that no, talks you, about the could, generation. Could you, I think could, it's, could you please speak to me rather than refer me to, to literature? Could, could you show me from the Bible where the Bible teaches an, an overlapping generation, please? I would be grateful if you could help, please. <laughs> Uh, Robert, uh, right now we just have to find that watchtower for you, and you can go to the JW Library and, and uh, find that watchtower. I've and been talks there. About the generation. I've been there. I've I've read the watchtowers, but there's no scriptural evidence to support the claim that there's such a thing as an overlapping generation. 
Matthew, Matthew, in, at the start in Matthew chapter Robert, one. Robert, we're not we're not here to discuss the Bible. Today. Or, or we're not here to discuss a, the Bible. Talk and in our in our. Yeah, I, I know, I know, Robert, but there's lots of scriptures in the article that you can compare with your Bible, whatever Bible you use, or um, the New World Translation or the study copy. But that article, so Robert, that's about all we can do today. But that article isn't relevant Robert, to, the, to Robert, the question. We're, we're going to have to um, let you go. I do apologize, Robert. Gosh, that's not very yeah. Christian, is it? You, you you don't want to discuss the Bible before a Sunday service. You're somehow frightened of discussing the Bible. Matthew uses generation. He mentions 43 names in Matthew chapter 1. And then in verse 17, he says there's 42 generations. So each each name is one generation. There's no such thing as an overlapping generation. You seem rather agitated. You've caught us just as our meeting's about to to start, so there there's well, not no, enough time. No, I, I was actually here half an hour right before. Oh, it, the screen is now saying the host oh, has no, muted either. me. <laughs> oh well, I've been muted muted by the host, um, but I was actually in the room half an hour before, and uh, they wasted fifteen minutes telling me to wait. Um, and no one wanted to discuss the Bible. Well, that's uh, the Montana Jehovah's Witnesses. Two. I am asking my subscribers to please help me. There is no way that I can continue this work speaking to Jehovah's Witnesses here in the UK because so many hundreds of JW congregations have been warned not to speak to me or know about me and won't dialogue with me. In the past month, it has taken hundreds and hundreds of text messages on my mobile phone to fix up these more recent meetings. The only way I can continue this work is with the help of my subscribers. Now, I cannot afford to phone outside of the UK. It would cost thousands of pounds for me to go on jw.org, find a meeting, then I could uh, type in a location in Canada America, Australia, wherever, for instance, in the United States, I could type in Dallas and find all the congregations around Dallas. But for me to phone Dallas from the UK, I, I can't afford to do that. I don't, I don't have the money. Besides which, my phone is limited, so I can only make calls at, inside the UK. Um, but I can't afford to do that. However, if you, one of my subscribers live outside of the UK, you can call congregations in your country. As long as they're English-speaking congregations, all you have to do is go to jw.org, then you scroll down to attend a meeting, then you click on the box so you can see the local congregations in your area, and you simply type in the box the location. Then you phone them up and you say, I would like to attend a Zoom meeting. And you need the Zoom code. You need the Zoom password. You need the name of the congregation, the town, the city, the state where the congregation is based. Bear in mind, I live in the UK. I know TX is Texas, but I wouldn't have a clue about um, state names for uh, some American states, or for Canada, or or Australia. So make it simple for me, and just send me via email, please, the um, details, and then I can continue this work. Because to Zoom call these people will cost me nothing. What I will do is, if you give me the time uh, for the midweek or the Sunday meeting i'll simply attend the meeting and try to speak to people before the meeting and after the meeting but i need help please help me i cannot continue this work unless i get help Thank you.